Now, coffee, after oil, is the most valuable global trading commodity. It's an industry worth more than $60 billion, and it's dominated by multinational companies. So why are most coffee farmers in Ethiopia still so desperately poor? A new documentary, Black Gold, is asking consumers to wake up and smell the coffee. CNN's Andrew Carey finds out exactly how much of what we drink is fair. If you're grabbing a quick cappuccino in rush hour or unwinding with a leisurely latte, you may be one of millions unaware of exactly where your coffee comes from. But whether it's freeze-dried craft or a freshly brewed Starbucks, the actual growers of our regular caffeine kick see only a fraction of the $80 billion a year industry that is coffee. So when you buy a cup of coffee for $3, a farmer's getting less than three cents. And it's that dramatic gap that's pushing farmers into bankruptcy. The fact is, today, there is no real mechanism in the market to safeguard the interests of coffee farmers. They have no say. Decisions are made thousands of miles away. Nick and Francis and his no twin brother Mark have produced the Black and Gold, a documentary film about the coffee trade. Black Gold follows Tadisi Mescala, manager of the Aromia Coffee Farmers Union, as he tries to protect the livelihood of 74,000 struggling workers in the birthplace of coffee in Ethiopia. Consumers International, a global group representing consumer concerns, say major coffee companies must become much more responsible corporate citizens by endorsing the so-called fair trade movement, which guarantees farmers higher prices and encourages eco-friendly farming methods. What we're not seeing is fast enough action and mainstreaming long-term action uh, from the big coffee companies like Nestle, like Sara Lee, like Kraft. Um, we're not seeing them really embracing uh, things like fair trade certification. Um, there is a, a sense that they uh, are trying to use these um, from a marketing point of view, but we're not seeing genuine long-term mainstreaming of these, of these kind of initiatives. Major coffee companies have accused the documentary of being one-sided. Starbucks issued a statement saying, Although Black Gold raises important issues, we believe it missed an opportunity to show efforts such as ours, as well as other approaches companies and organizations are using, to try to address these global industry-wide issues. It's the broader picture that G8 has just addressed, with ministers in Germany pledging $60 billion in health and medical aid to Africa. It's difficult to point to one particular person or organization responsible for the reason why 25 million coffee farmers are on the verge of bankruptcy. What we can say is that there are four major multinationals who dominate the global coffee industry. It pushes prices down. They have no real stake. But more than that, it's about the trade rules, which really cripple Africa's ability to trade fairly in the free market. <laughs> At one point, Black Gold shows workers at a bean sorting plant who are paid around 50 cents a day. A sobering thought when the price of a latte can reach up to $6 and up to 2 billion cups are sold every day. Andrew Carey, CNN London.